Um, yeah, so um, yeah, people need to keep in mind that a large amount of alternative media gets money from uh, what I refer to as the verse, um, uh, meaning Peter Thiel, um, but really more broadly, it's the PayPal mafia, uh, as it's been called, um, people affiliated with PayPal to various degrees, um, which of course includes Elon Musk. They have a lot of influence over uh, alternative media and even over mm. um content platforms like Rumble and have been funding um, libertarian movements and all of this stuff. Um, but I don't really see them as being libertarian at all. Um, taking Peter Thiel as an example, you know, um, Peter Thiel claims to be a Bitcoin maximalist. Um, then he goes after, he says on a panel uh, next to then CIA director Mike Pompeo and says Bitcoin is a Chinese financial weapon uh, against the U.S. dollar. In terms of libertarianism, um, Peter Thiel says he's a libertarian, but instead he created Palantir, which is the most insane surveillance tool that the CIA has today. So you literally handed the worst part of the state, the worst tool possible, but you're a libertarian uh, and you're against state overreach. Um, similarly with Elon Musk, you have to look at the actions of Musk and then what he says, and uh, not enough people do that, whether it's for Musk or, or really anyone, you have to look at people's actions, um, uh, not just what they say, because someone can say all the right things and then, uh, you know, be totally screwing you behind your back. Um, and um, if, if you're just going to take, um, you know, what they're telling you and, and the excuses and whatever, I mean, uh, you'll never figure out what's actually going on. Uh, I, I think that's fair for, for Elon Musk as well. Did he buy uh, Twitter to save free speech or did he buy Twitter to have um, a mass of data to uh, train AI on and to train all other sorts of products he has on? Or did he make it like he's openly admitted? Did he buy it so he can turn Twitter, now X, into X, the everything app that doesn't just become, you know, isn't just social media. It becomes half of the financial system and becomes American WeChat, uh, which, of course, WeChat in China is the everything app. It means you have all the data. Basically, if people use it for everything, uh, it, it accumulates more data than everything else, and, and, and it has all the control. People are naive here, I think. Uh, because Elon Musk is the richest man in the world, but is he the richest man in the world just because of his uh, his own um, entrepreneurial whatever, or is it because his his companies were held up by government subsidies that allowed him to become rich? And he's the richest man in the world because he worked with the state there, okay? Um, his company, uh, SpaceX, and is um, currently a contractor uh, to both the military and intelligence communities. Um, its success is contingent on those contracts, and SpaceX and his entire trajectory up to this point have been contingent on um, government subsidies um, or or things of that nature. That's that's a problem. Um, he he still censors people. Um, I mean, Twitter, new Twitter still censors people. Um, and they, they have a plan for like the, the U S 2024 election about how to censor people. Um, the CEO of, um, XNR Twitter, um, or Linda Yaccarino or whatever her name is, um, has said it's freedom of speech, not freedom of reach. Um, that's t still Twitter policy. Um, so, you know, I mean, he can say, Musk can say all the stuff about free speech, but how far does it really go? He censored the uh, account that showed where his uh, private jet is going, which is like publicly available information. Um, these guys, um, uh, again, you know, there's this famous, famous, famous guy from the U.S. Uh, who was... Um, very influential in his time, named Albert Albert Pike, um, who was very influential with the powers that be uh, and affiliated with uh, Freemasonry. He said something to the effect of, every time the people want a hero, we will supply him. Um, Elon Musk seems to be um, one of those figures. Uh, why do people, for some reason, see him as this uh, Tony Stark, Iron Man kind of guy? Uh, well, um, the Iron Man movies were funded uh, largely, or they had a significant, I, I forget the exact amount, but a very large contract with the U.S. military. Um, while Elon Musk has companies that are also affiliated at the time with the, the U.S. military, um, 
Robert Downey Jr. decides to model Tony Stark and Iron Man and whatever after Elon Musk. Um, and uh, e Elon Musk makes an appearance in the movie. And then um, people years ago start affiliating Elon Musk with this brilliant scientist who's going to save us all. Um, uh, and how far have things progressed since then? Remember, uh, Elon is you know, is I'm making a, a brain chip that's killed like half, not half, but a, a significant amount of the monkeys it was tested on. And now they've gone to human trials or starting human trials. Like if I was an altruistic guy that just wanted to make a brain chip, sorry, it just sounds insane to even say that. But anyway, if I wanted to make this thing, this product that goes in people's bodies and half of the animals die um, or like a third or whatever die, um, I would go back to the drawing board and, and find a way to make it so it doesn't kill that many animals before um, human trials. You know, if we start killing humans with that, you know, it's not going to go well. Um, it's weird. And then, you know, it, you have the fact that he said stuff like X is, um, meaning Twitter, as uh, humanity's collective consciousness and all this. Um, so he's involved in the generative AI stuff, too. Um, he helped create OpenAI. He has his own now, which is uh, allegedly more far left than OpenAI chat GPT is, um, even though he's positioned as being the opposite. I mean, there's a lot of contradictions there. So again, I would encourage people to look at people's actions. Um, Musk is a businessman and a businessman tied to the national security state at that. Um, I mean, these are not, you know, the kind of people that you should just trust naively and blindly. You should scrutinize their actions and not just pay attention to the nice things they say or, um, oh, he said, E -E F you on uh, New York Times deal book and gave those advertisers the middle finger. Um, there's a lot of stuff he is doing that is not good and people need to be wary of this whole push to turn um, Twitter or X into a key part of the financial system that you'll use to pay for everything. Um, because at the same time, we're, we're having this push to totally remake money whether it's to a CBDC or a heavily regulated stable coin or uh, deposit tokens or any of this, um, this programmable money stuff. Um, and obviously at some point, if we let it happen, um, that programmability aspect is going to be informed by what people say on social media. So it's a slippery slope. And um, do we want to give any one person, let alone the richest man in the world, um, that kind of power, just because like occasionally he'll smoke a doobie on Rogan and say the F word on TV. I mean, I think that's naive.